what motivated the creation of the GreenCom framework. So the first thing to say is that the uh, development of a European Sustainability Competence Framework, that's the official name of the Green Comp, was a commitment set out in the European Green Deal as a tool to promote learning on environmental sustainability in the European Union. Uh, the idea was, of course, that green competences had to be promoted, but also to be better defined. And Green Comp uh, identifies, as a matter of fact, a set of sustainability competences to feed into education programs to help learners develop knowledge, skills and attitudes that promote ways to think, but also to plan and act sustainably. So Green Comp uh, has been uh, very welcomed by the uh, education community, and it is now currently implemented by many actors, institutional or non-institutional. Uh, it's a conceptual framework, so conceptual, sorry, framework. So it's uh, adapted uh, here and there, it's localized, but uh, it help, help us having a common framework on increased efficiency and impact at EU level and beyond. So there is de facto uh, a wide range of initiatives and actions on the environment and sustainability that are taking place in education and training sectors uh, uh, across Europe. There is an increase in initiatives and uh, schemes, which is really significant. And to tell the truth, it has been particularly true during the three last years following the pandemic. These progresses must be welcome. They reflect that there is a progress and also a growing public interest. But we must no, not uh, either lower uh, our guard because there is still the need to do more so that learning for sustainability becomes a systemic feature of education policy and practice in the EU. So support for the green and digital transition is uh, a priority area for EU policy cooperation in education. And hence the need to share good practices, learn from each other and co-create solutions together. And the Greencom community uh, meets this need for more collaboration around sustainability issues uh, as the Education for Climate Coalition, which is hosting the Green Comp community. So the Council recommendation on learning for the green transition on sustainable development that was adopted during the summer 2022 supports member states in embedding sustainability in education and training. And that recommendation invited the European Commission of course, with due regard for uh, subsidiarity and national circumstances, to develop, share and make available uh, resources, materials on research and learning, and also Green Comp. So we are now implementing this recommendation. 